Alright, so in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the Miller Electric Macy expansion pack for the Miller Synchrowave 210 AC DC stick and TIG welder. So I've already pre-opened this. The card is right here. It's just a pretty it's pretty much a standard SD card. And then this is what the card comes in and it has some instructions. The number on this is 301127. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be placing this SD card into the SD card slot on my TIG welder or on the machine itself and what this card allows me to do is to expand the high frequency range on the machine it's going to be adjustable from 60 hertz to 150 hertz now the machine comes standard with 100 hertz programmed from the factory so in order just to get those extra features you do need to purchase one of these cards I'm going to be demonstrating on some 19 and a half thousandths um, aluminum really really thin sheet plate uh, it's real it's so thin you can cut this with a pair of scissors it's just that easy and that thin just I, I don't know what what these are for but I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate on that but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the machine and show you guys how this SD card is placed. So this machine comes with an SD card slot right here. That's a nice little protector on there. I'm going to be taking my expansion pack and installing it on the machine. So I'm just going to install it like I would on a computer. There's a little green light here that lights up. When I guess when it's accepted the card. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover all that up just so I don't get any dust in there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the menu here. And there's my balance, what it's set at. And then there's the option for the frequency. So right now it's pretty much what it came with program standard 100 hertz. So I can go all the way down to 60 and all the way up to 150. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'll probably start off on 60 hertz and I'll leave the pulses off and my balance will be set at 75 because I've pre-cleaned the material so it's a pro set feature on this machine. And I'll go ahead and go into my user menu. I'm going to use a high frequency for my start. My tungsten is going to be 040 and my post flow will be for 5 seconds. Um, I can leave it on auto but I think 5 seconds is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and exit that. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 26 amps right where it's at.
right, so here's my piece that I just welded here. I did two beads of every frequency on this piece of uh, aluminum. And I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but this thing is really warped. It's so badly warped. So I did 60 hertz, 100 and then I did 125 and then 150. Now, as you can see here, the 60, they had a lot of penetration. And you can kind of tell from the back part here, it just went right through. So I was able to get more heat into this thin piece of material, which probably caused all this crazy warpage on this test piece here. You gotta remember this is 19 and a half thousands thick, paper thin pretty much, or just about. But, uh, anyways, uh, 60 hertz and then the 100 hertz, I was able to actually pinpoint that heat a little bit better and less warpage, as you can tell from the edge. I mean, the 60 left a big old bulge here on the side and then the hundred wasn't too bad they had to start and stop on some of these because I just couldn't get the welding done on the camera really good so higher the hertz the arc actually gets choked down so there's it's it gets more pinpoint where that heat goes to and I did end up by the end of this test piece where I did the 150 but the back here I mean it's it might not look all robotic and perfect stack of dimes but I mean it did have penetration as you can see there the 60 with the deepest I mean it really drooped down to the other side so <laughs> maximum penetration on that and then the 100 which is standard with the machine and then the one 25 and then the 150 as you can kind of see where I went really small here. I mean it Really 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 pinpoint that arc. So um, I did another test piece here and These came out actually better way better and I had to do some restarts on this too because um, I did have to adjust the settings on those frequencies. I mean, this first piece here was all one, all one setting, just different hertz, or the frequency was just different. Now on this one, I played with this after I did that, and I was able to get some really nice, um, really nice beads here because I did change the amperage. And I found that different settings actually helped. I did a couple other pieces with Pulse. And they came out really nice too. But this one is my favorite. This would be the ultimate setting for this. Which I forgot what it was. But I mean this one. I think it was like. Oh 120 hertz. I find that 120 hertz wells really good on thin stuff. And it was about. 27 amps on this with a balance of 68 or the cleaning action was 68 on that one and that one came out way better than the rest I did try 60 on some of them I just tried a whole bunch of different amperages so. but I did get penetration on all of them and I mean for aesthetics I mean, practice is going to make perfect anyways, and again, this is really thin stuff. On thick aluminum, you'd have, or thicker aluminum, uh, it'd be much better results, because, I mean, this stuff right here is be below the capacity, like, way below the minimum than what the machine can do, so I'm actually pretty much going all out on these pieces here but I really don't have any other aluminum that I can demonstrate for you guys so that's the Miller Electric 
memory card, AC frequency expansion for the SynchroWave 210. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it, it was worth the buy. As for a product, it's a little bit pricey. A lot of people will not will not spend the extra money to get a little SD card to give you such options. Um, when it comes to this Wellner, I think having these expansion packs available separately than what you know it coming with a machine, it's gonna end up scaring some buyers away from a really awesome machine. Don't get me wrong, it's it's a freaking awesome machine. That's just for the price. I mean a three thousand dollar welder plus another four hundred dollars in the cards. I mean there's other com there's other options out on the market which will give you everything, if not even more options than what this welder does for for less money. But the thing is Miller, top of the line stuff. I mean, I don't think it's fair that you should have to pay for those extra options. That's just me, though. Um, other than, I mean, I can't say anything bad about the product other than that because the AC expansion does work and it does provide more precision when it comes to welding. So that's that's what is really good about this machine. Again, Miller is an industry standard pretty much. But uh, anyways, I want to thank you for watching and see you guys on the next one.